Stop scrolling, GPT-5 is here and it might be the biggest leap in AI in years but actually not as big as it was hyped. Here is what's new, what's missing and why it actually matters. First there is no more switching between models, GPT-5 is a single unified system and for the first time even free tier users can get access to it. And let's be real, it was overhyped. In benchmarks, it's on the top in most benchmarks, especially in reasoning and coding, but it doesn't dominate every test. Pricing is where it shocks though. It's only $1.25 per million input tokens versus $15 for its main competitor, for example, Opus 4.1. So it's 12 times cheaper. That means AI tools built on GPT-5 can get just much more affordable and smart at the same time. But where I'm a bit disappointed is the context window, because it's kept at only 400,000 tokens, smaller than, for example, Gemini's 2.5. 1.5 1 million tokens and it still doesn't support video input but where it shines is its range just one prompt can create interactive demos write plans or explain complex topics visually in seconds and the api will come in three versions gpt5 mini and nano each balancing speed cost and depth is this now hei no, definitely not. But it is still the most affordable, widely available and capable assistant we have seen so far. So it puts some pressure on the competition. What do you think about it? Have you tried it out? Let me know in the comments and follow me for more AI updates.